Now the cage we're going to build fits perfectly in each raised bed. So the first thing you have to do is you have to measure the interior of the raised bed that you want to put the cage into. So I'm going to just go and measure the interior of this bed here. All right, so I've taken the measurements for the interior of my eight by four raised bed. I'm gonna take those measurements, and I'm gonna go into my workshop, and I'm gonna start cutting out all of the pieces of wood that I need for my own chicken tractor. Now the basic thing you need to know about building a chicken tractor is that it's basically a wooden frame. That's what we're starting with. And the version that I've come up with here is a very lightweight version. Now you can find the exact plans for this exact chicken tractor on my website and you can download it as a PDF file. We're using two by three lumber. It's not pressure treated. It's regular, um, you know, building grade lumber. Remember, you don't want to use pressure treated wood when you're dealing with animals or, um, you know, housing animals or on your raised beds. They're going to interact with the soil. Animals also have a tendency to chew on wood and you don't want that to be ingested by any animals. So we've got just the regular pine lumber here and I've basically laid everything out already and I've pre-drilled the holes on the wood. So I'm going to start assembling from the rear of the cage first. And these screws, again, I'm using the same similar screws that you use when you're building the raised beds. So there have been two good things about being able to do construction and you know knowing how to use a screw gun and all that stuff. One is my dad is really proud of me, but two is anytime I do go to my dad's house, now I have to actually pitch in and do some work. So it's got its pluses and its minuses. In order to really center this door and the doorway, what I wanna do is I wanna measure the inside of the frame right here and that is approximately or rather exactly oops, 41 and a quarter nice all right so my doorway is done on the end i've got these other guys are still done and in place and now i'm going to take my strapping now strapping is just thinner wood, it's used for a bunch of different things. It's lighter, that's why I'm using it. So I've got my first piece right here. It's pre-drilled. And I'm just gonna assemble and line up the my little frame wood right here underneath the strapping. So this time I'm gonna use smaller screws. They're two inch screws. And like I said, I have my holes already pre-drilled here. And just wanna line it up, make it flush. Perfect. Yes, yes. Perfection. I am so psyched. All right. Now I know where I want to put this one, so this is going to be the next one. Yes. Success. Voila. That was beautiful. Did you see that? It's pro. All right, so I've lined this up. It's flush to the wood, centered on my little hose there, my little pre-drilled holes. I don't know. That looks pro to me. I don't know about you, but that looks good. Perfect. 
perfect. I'm just gonna keep yelling out, perfect. <laughs> Woo! Look at that. There's really nothing out there that kind of just gives you a very logical way of putting things together. You know, carpenters, trained carpenters, they actually, you know, they have their own kind of way of thinking of things and how to put things together. But if you're not a carpenter, it's not your business, it's not your science. In order to put something together, you can be lost. So hopefully, so far, we're both on the same page, you're not lost, and you're pretty much writing down your measurements now. Um, I've got this middle, these two middle bars to put in. We're pretty much halfway there right now, maybe a little more than that. And I've got my first doorway over in the front. And I'm going to now put a side doorway, but closer to the back. All right. So we have our doorway in here. We've got our strapping on top. And one more thing before I turn it over, I want to install a little roost for my chickens. So I'm gonna take this piece of wood right here and I'm gonna give them um, their little roost. They're gonna love it. Flipping. Look at that. All right, so I've got my strapping. Now, as you can see, this board here is a little warped. When you go to your uh, lumber yard or your supply center, you gotta look at every piece almost. Now, strapping comes in bundles, so it's really hard to check every individual piece. Some of them are gonna bow a little. We're gonna try and fix that as we're screwing it to the frame here. I'm done with the frame, can you believe it? The framing is done. And as you can see, I can carry it myself. <laughs> and voila chicken tractor. We're done. All we have to do is just skin it now with wire. And let me show you the wire I'm going to use. The wire I'm going to use is hardware cloth, half inch hardware cloth. Now this is two feet tall, basically, or wide, however you want to look at it. 
and it's 19 gauge. Uh, the 19 gauge, that basically corresponds to the thickness of the actual wire that's being used. just bending this corner. I may need to cut the wire to make it easier. Okay, right here, remember, this is our doorway. So we're gonna be cutting this wire. So you see how it's buckling a little? It's gonna be okay. Don't worry, guys. This is the doorway. It'll be okay. All you guys out there who want me to be so wrong. Let's start from this bottom here. this a little now. Look at that. I like it. Look at that, look at how beautifully it fits on that corner. All right, so I've got two more to put on this side and I'm gonna keep wrapping it around this whole thing. I'll bore you if you continue watching this whole thing, but as you can see, this is beautiful. So I'm gonna just continue wrapping this wire around and then the next step is gonna be to wire the roof. I've finished wrapping the wire and attaching it to my wooden frame here. And right now I'm just taking these uh, hammer and nails and I'm just securing the wire on top of the cage. So we finished putting the wire on top of our chicken tractor and now I'm just going to cut off the excess wire. Done. Done. I got good. Breaking out into a little sweat here. I like it though, I like it. All right. We're all set here. And now I'm going to cover the whole top of this with a tarp. Now this tarp so far is perfectly eight feet. It's eight by six actually. So what that's gonna do is it's gonna allow me to have a little bit of an overlap.
So I am done on this side and on the top and I'm just gonna finish off attaching the tarp to my chicken tractor. So I've put the strapping on top um, and it's basically sandwiching the tarp down. Now I'm just going to cut off the excess of the tarp and save it for something else later. And then I just have to put the doors in and we're ready to rock and roll. So I'm gonna put together the doors. Now this is really simple. It's four pieces of wood, make a box. That's it. gonna go over there. Now let me get door number two. What's behind door number two? The opening for the door and I'm gonna save this wire to use as the wire for the door. So see this door? This is gonna go right in here so beautifully and perfectly. So now I'm just attaching the wire to my second door. It's always a good idea to have more than one door when you're building one of these chicken tractors, especially since you know you want it in two different locations also so that you can easily reach in and, and get their food and their water and all that stuff. I'm here, I'm just installing the hinges now onto the door first just makes it a lot easier when you're putting the door in onto the chicken tractor. All right, I've propped a little couple of pieces of thinner wood just to make sure I have a little gap on the bottom and a little gap on the top. This is working for me down here, so I'm gonna start right here. We are very, very close to moving this out. I'm just gonna put that other door on and we're gonna head out and put this in the new Urban Sustainable Living Garden. So I am here in my Urban Sustainable Living Garden and I've got my week old chicks here, my rock Cornish hens. I've got my chicken tractor, I'm so proud of it. I think it looks beautiful. And this is their new home. So they are just trying to get out like crazy here. Can you see them? Look at this. Oh my goodness, oh! Oh. All right, I got the box in and I'm gonna open it now. See what they do. It's always interesting. Oh, they're not even doing anything. That's great. All right, I've got their food and I'm gonna put their food in here for them. Oh, that got their attention. Got another feeder for them. Oh, that got some more of their attention. Oh, they're so cute. Hi, you guys. Look at them. Now, I do try and make sure that I don't get too attached to them at this stage, because these are the meat birds that I'm raising. But that's what makes these guys so much more special, because they're hand-raised, and they're raised humanely and kindly and properly. 
So they're, they, they've seen the food and they're getting out there. They're following each other. I'm going to put their water in here now. All right. Well, they're in, they're in their new home. They are loving it. I've got to go get some more food for them before they, I don't know, pile up on top of each other. I hope you've learned something. I'm excited. I think it looks beautiful. I'm really proud of myself and I hope you've enjoyed basically watching me this summer put together this urban sustainable living garden. I am losing light and I'm going to get some rain so I'm getting out of here but definitely come back and check me out again. I'm Patty Moreno, the garden girl. Thanks for watching.